was to get back on topic in terms of uh, policy. Uh, as I think all three of you know, uh, I'm a university senator down at WestCon, uh, and one thing which it has been big is the tuition. Uh, as we know, uh, President Gray uh, has just been appointed down at the Board of Regents, uh, and I've, I, you probably, all three of you, since it was such a big issue uh, last time around, uh, last session, what do you think of President Gray so far, uh, and what do you think about his 23 uh, plan uh, step outline for sort of revitalizing uh, higher education here in Connecticut? I don't have a 23 step plan <laughs> on my fingertips, so you haven't hit me with it, but I've, you know, what I've read and what I've heard, I know Tony's on the education committee, so she knows the stuff better than I, definitely. I've heard he's, he's starting to move the ball in the right direction. You know, I've heard some positive feedback on that. I mean, what's your, what's the perception from the student body? Well, from, from the students, he hasn't, he hasn't visited with any students yet. I'm trying to get him to come down here and uh, really interact with the students because I think ultimately that's what... My, my uh, word of caution your, for the president is that um, anytime new presidents come in and they put all these, these guidelines together, a lot of it becomes empire building and trying to do new programs, new things. <coughs> Frankly, in the school, in the, in the, the system right now, we should be um, reducing some of the numbers of different degrees that we have, fo focusing on what kind of degree programs that people need actually to find jobs, keeping some of those certificate programs out there that are very valuable to our businesses and they're important too, and they can still do that because the bottom line is the tuition costs keep going up. And we've created such a monster with education right now that these kids go in, there's an expectation that everybody goes to college, there's an expectation now they're going to pay a lot of money for it that's gone out of control, and they're going to come out with no job. Oftentimes because they've chosen a degree program that doesn't necessarily have you know, a, a really good job potential when you get out. I think it's a very dangerous thing we've set up for ourselves. Um, we need to make sure that, that these, these leaders in our education system are looking at that and being smart about how they're spending their money, what kind of programs they're developing. We also need to make sure that we keep investing in our trade schools in the state, you know, things like Abbott Tech, because there's a great opportunity there for folks who can go into that, who aren't going to go to college, are going to come out with a great skill, and they're going to go in business for themselves someday. And I think that's where we need to be focusing. So that's kind of my... Yeah, Dan's last point's a big one, right? because you know, that's one of the things that one of the other successes I think we've did, more or less on a bilateral basis, is by partisan basis, is restore some money from trade schools and get a focus back on them. You not, not everyone's going to be a lawyer or a doctor. You going for the game? Thanks a lot. Oh, Thanks. <laughs> oh that's just a question. Um, what time are we right now? Eight. Eight? Eight. 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 Eight.